Welcome back, everyone. We are back at Casey's Mod, uh, Inscription Casey's Mod, and I was coming up, looking online, trying to see if I can find some interesting, you know, self-imposed challenges we could run, and I was thinking that the run I would like to try would be a bloodless run, um, so only zero bone. Uh, pretty much anything that does not cost us blood. Uh, I think this this could be quite challenging on its own, so we'll just give it a just a run, just do a vanilla run, um, but then see how far we can actually go with go with this. All right. We got pelts, so we want things that do not cost blood. So cockroach and the bat, perfect. Now then we might get into a situation where we're forced to take um, a creature into our deck that has blood cost. Um, but I'm figuring in that situation, we would just um, we would just. If we drew it, we wouldn't play it. So let's get this. Just because four bones is kind of expensive. So if, if we're going to do a, have a 1-1 one, one unkillable, might as well make it the Gek. All right. Um, let's see here. The only issue, though, as we have is that the rabbit and the squirrels can't attack. So I'm not quite sure how this run will go. I'm going to still allow the use of items. Because I don't want to get us backed into a corner right away. Yeah, the problem is, is we're gonna with flyers then can't we're not gonna be able to generate bones if they can't <laughs> destroy our squirrels and whatnot. That's right. Yes, furs, boulders, those things also create bones for us. So. So those things are so if we got say like a boulder uh, item, that would be okay to play because it doesn't cost any blood. And okay, so here here we have a situation where we're forced to take blood. So but I'm thinking maybe we can use them for abilities. I think that would be okay. So if we get to a uh, transfer, we can at least transfer the abilities over and make our actual, our usable cards usable. Right. Yeah, can't risk the Gek. Gek is way too important to risk. Okay, so we got Tadpole. Okay. Okay, good. And we got the rabbit. At least the rabbit and the squirrels will be generating bones for us. Part of me is thinking we actually probably want. Oh, in here. I'm so used to not playing squirrels down um yeah we'll just take the the concession all right bottom or bonfire since we got tadpole and the geck are going to be kind of our main um here wolverine that's a, that'll be a good one um since those are going to be our kind of our two main cards we're going to want to get a good serpent totem. 
Um, sure. <laughs> We're not playing any blood cards, so that's... <laughs> And that totem just comes up so rarely for me that it's just I it's just kind of ridiculous that that shows up now like the one round where I absolutely cannot use it okay good we need that gack and we need some bones all right so we got the tadpole and the adder out so or not the adder. We got the Gek and the bolt and the tadpole out. So those are our main two cards. So anything else is just we need bones for the bat and the wolverine. So doesn't really unless we can generate fat bones faster. Actually, that's the totem we need. Is we need the um, four bone generation. Okay. I'm gonna take the ringworm just so that we could uh, bonfire it away so that we can power up our other cards. Alright. Wow, okay. Um, sure. It doesn't matter, I'm not playing. I think the only insect I have is the the ringworm because I got rid of my cockroach. Okay. We'll have to see how this goes, because it's flying. It's not helped me. Okay. Here. Still need to be careful so he doesn't take the Gek, because I need that Gek alive. Alright. At least now we're damage, sitting damage positive. Alright. And we will be doing three damage here, so we're sitting good. Okay, there's the bat. And then, alright, so the bullfrog. Bullfrog's gonna cause us problems. But, this will at least, though, give us the bones we need. And the fish bucket, or the chum bucket, will bother us. Oh, bait bucket. Oh. Excellent. Alright. So now we can get the bat onto the field. And get our squirrel defenders out. Thankfully, yeah, thankfully the squirrels don't cost any blood, so they are completely viable for this run. Right, let's see what we got here. Oh. Doesn't really matter because you're not the Aruhuli. Um, so we'll take the Mantis God for the ability. I don't know who. To... I guess we give it to the bat. That'd be pretty good. Alright, Snow Line. Alright. And we probably want to still avoid winning these because we don't want to get our deck too inflated. Yeah, I was going to say, they're better. I think I only have two that have blood costs. Alright. I 
definitely want to try and get rid of that ringworm. Oh, offense. I'm going to give that offense to the Gek. Because if I give the bat um, triple attack, or, you know, try... Is it try? I don't know. If I give get Mantis God onto the bat, then that bat can do six damage flying. So that's pretty good. Oh, good. Mole and Raven. Fantastic. That makes me glad. Oh, well. this will also help us. Yeah, maybe I'd been better instead of trying to burn some cards out. Nah, we're still good. We can do this. Cause we're, I'm just trying to see if this... I'm presuming that this challenge is possible, but I just kind of want to see if there's a way of making it possible. Yeah. Don't need the bat for this one. get another gack. Alright. You know what? Actually... Bloodhound. I'm gonna give the... Depending on how this goes, I might give the bloodhound to the, the rabbit. <laughs> Come on, give me something good. Nice. That definitely helps. Okay, oh, then oh, there we go. Boom, we win. Yeah, Gek. Gek's pretty strong. <laughs> definitely. Alright. Uh turkey vulture since we know it's a bone all right let me get rid of mantis god and i'm gonna ooh bat or wolverine i think it's bad Right. Hold on. There's Wolverine. That means, you know, it's got Devour. As the bat has flying. So I could do guaranteed six. Or I could do three one turn. No, I think bat, bat would be better. We want to deal as much damage as we can as quickly as possible. Oh no. A, a fusion up ahead. Oh, that's gonna be. Is that gonna force. I might have to be forced to fuse my. Um, Gax. That will not be good. I cannot summon the bat. These elks are going to be a problem if I let them be. That works. Huh. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, it's kind of like with the Gex, you know, bones really don't mean too much. But I wanted to go with the co the zero cost deck because the bone deck has two with blood costs, so 
it's just like this is the only deck that really lets you start the game running without you know having to worry about the blood costs okay what do I got here so I'm gonna have to fuse my Gex there's no way around that Unless I burned one of them, but I don't think I'd want to do that. I might as well. Yeah. Didn't want to do this, but didn't have a choice. Oh well. At least Gek should be an automatic win then if I ever draw. Oh, wow. You know, I think any other day I'd be very happy uh, with these totem options, but not, not today. <laughs> not for this run. Can't even get a serpent head that I need. Oh, all right. The only thing is, yeah, now that I've, my turkey vulture is unkillable, which doesn't do a lot of good because he's just so expensive. All right. So, smoke. Rabbit squirrel. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. Forgot about these traps. We might actually lose this here. Yep. Let's see if we can stall out a bit. This is not going to... I don't have any items. Yeah, this is not going to end well. I don't. Yeah, nope. So that this this run end here ends here. Yeah. Oh well, and we actually made it pretty far. So, oh, we only made it to the end of map two. Didn't actually make it through. Okay. But I think it is possible. It's just we end up relying on the Gex. And then we, since you start off with a zero or bone costs, zero bone or one blood, that's going to really throw off your hand if your hand, whole hand is nothing but zero and bones. Um, it's like the turkey vulture. Yeah, he's 3-3 three, three flying, but... But he's just so expensive. Honestly, I'm not sure... Can we... So we need we need a the to we really actually we need a totem for um what you want to call it uh, the the bone the, um, the bone totem so when a creature dies it gives four bones. That really is going to be a key component to this challenge for it to work effectively. I'm not saying it can't work without it, but it would sure make life a lot easier. And of course, I say how essential it, 
the totem is as I completely ignore the first chance to get one. And let my deck die. Okay. Let's see here. Let's... I am sure if the same normal item strategies works with this. That was a bullfrog. Is there? No, is it only turns into a bullfrog? Okay. Now for the cockroach. That might have been the wrong play. Yeah, can we survive this? No. Not without the item. I don't know, maybe this challenge... Well, we're, we'll see. We'll just keep running this challenge for a bit and just seeing how well this does for us. Give it a couple shots. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah. That's really the only way we're going to get through that is with the hook there. Okay. Wolverine. Army's wondering if I should do unkillable Gek. But maybe we'll see what totems we get first. Really? Undying. Undying doesn't help. So the only thing up here that would help would be the insect. Good, there's an item bag. We're gonna need that. Alright. So, are we gonna be able to out damage him? And I don't know if we will be able to. Huh. We are probably going to be in some trouble here. Only thing could be is if we're able to get wolves. And we don't have enough bones for the alpha wolves, so that doesn't. Nope. So I'm thinking now that Gek is really going to be the main, he's going to be the hero for this. The thing is going to get him unkillable and then get him boosted at every campfire. But then it would just come down to, okay, then we just got to get rid of get rid of every other as many cards as possible so that we're constantly drawing him. I need to survive. Oh. This didn't go as I'd hoped. No. I I did not play this right at all.
Hmm. Okay, so at least I got some bones from that. Oh, and the rabbit. Okay. Here, how about this? Will I be able to move forward from that? I don't know if I would be able to. I'm gonna have to snip this elk. Okay. Now there is oh. There we go. It's gonna have to be a little bit more strategic with this. Alright. I need Oh, come on. Alright, who has bones? There bone elk? The long neck, I think. Well, there we go. That's just gonna make life harder for us. Oh, the trapper? Yeah, we definitely Gek up there. No, nope, you're too valuable to risk. Then we need to get unkillable Gek. I can't think of a better sigil to put on him right now without a um unkillable totem. Wow. Okay. help me at all. So that'll take care of... Doesn't matter, I can't... I, I still lose. Another shot. Let's see here. I feel like it should be possible. But now I'm really re hoping, relying on that cockroach being here. And I don't know if I'm going to get lucky again. Okay. At least we got some cheaper bones. Actually, mealworm is just for defensive purposes. It's really not that good. Um, let's just keep the gag going. He's gonna be he's gonna be our focus. Hold on to the squirrel, I think. Doctor needs to use that as a last ditch defender if need be. Uh, the flying can't block.
Yeah, there's no way I can generate bones in this match. Okay, oh, so now we're just stuck. Scoop, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, if he was truly evil about it, he could just wait until we got to... Um, until I starved. Alright. Looking glass. Oh no! I'm just so used to... I need to re... I, this is a whole new ball game for me, so I gotta keep in mind that that piggy bank of bones is really helpful. Oh... Oh, this is rough. Oh, but the otter. Good. Oh. We can defend against the otter. So we do have bone generation now. Oh, and our bullfrog is also going to... Take a dive here. All right, we have three bones. Yeah, we'll do this. Because we got plenty of squirrels. It'll take a time, but we can do this. Oh, we just need two more bones. Oh, yeah, there we go. That one perfectly masked the other token. So here we go. He's like, you're taking too long. Here's this wolverine. Coyote and squirrel. And here we go. There we go. See, it's, it's doable, it's possible. It's going to be really, really hard. Rat King, I need that bone ability. Question is... Who can I give that to? Almost... Uh, I to avoid the tribe one. Though I suppose if I have to get something with blood, then I just need to get something with a high cost that stays out of my hand. Alright, Gek. Yeah, because I can put that on the rat. Give that to the rabbit, in which case then, boom. I can get four bones right away. That the possum's so weak. What about this? Gack. Still be able to survive this turn. The worm does nothing, so I might as well wait. As well, wait. I remember I still have seed. Oh, thank you. Could have made it through. We've taken care of both his creatures, but then just like, well, why drag out unnecessarily, cockroach? All right, Matt. Um. Yeah, at least if we had the insect corpse eater, then our cockroach would always get into the field. But we will do this, so at least our coyote is more viable. On attack health. 
Well, they might as well do the coyote. All right. He won't survive a shark attack, but at least he will deal four damage. Oh! He doesn't have to survive a shark. He can take out a shark. Right. Oh, a kingfisher. You are awful. Starts with this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Bullfrog can't kill the kingfisher. He can only die to the kingfisher. Eat. Great. Now I'm in a bad spot. Oddly works. Okay. Right. So you're gonna steal whatever card I play next. This is just weird. <laughs> oh boy. Could you please play a creature that can attack? Thankfully, I have all these squirrels. This is going to be fun. Oh. Smoke. Yeah. Alright, so I got six. Coyote. This is gonna do four. And then I just squirrel block. Yeah, I don't know if this challenge would be really hard to do with swimming squirrels. I don't know if you'd be able to do it. Probably would have to get really lucky. got here. Alright, you're all terrible. All awful. Okay. Decision time. I got two transfers or I can do a totem. I need, to, I need to get those transfers on. I need, I need to get this Gek supersized. Honestly, do I go for a? I don't know, I feel like I should take the bones on principle, but that does hurt my chances to win. So I'm wondering if it would still be within the 
essence of the challenge to say even if I had the option for something with bones I could pick something with a high blood cost just to save myself from this situation. Is that well, that might be the only way to really do this. That might be, yeah, if I have to start over again, I might just have to... Just take those dead cards. Those cards won't be able to do me... They'll just fill up my hand, but would at least let my... It, it, it would thicken my... Oh, that sounds weird. I caught myself before I said it. Um, it would make my deck very large, but it would keep my opening hand options narrow. So what do I have for two? You are useless. Better off... Oh, well that actually oddly works. Right. I know the, the Gek is a zero cost card. So technically, if I just did the whole deck based on or everything based off of him getting him as buff as possible that would be viable or that would be that would be within the scope of the challenge the challenge is to only play non blood a bloodless run which is playing only cars that have no blood cost nasty I hope I have two candles left because this is gonna be hard always the bullfrog Haley here I am Got the bones I need okay gag Can we survive this? No. Maybe that would be a solution if I had something similar like this where I had one high cost bone card, say like the vulture. Um, I'm trying to think though. That still screw me up if I'm still reliant on the Gek to save the day. I suppose this would just then be, it'd be more or less a Gek run. Well, it's alright though. It's just, just testing it to see what is possible. If these let's run. Alright. No, well, nope, I think this one's gonna come to a bitter close. So yeah, filling up the deck with nothing but bone cards when we don't have any bones to play is the opposite of good. Oh, what am I oh, wrong button. Yeah, okay. We're gonna lose this round. I at least want to make it to map three. So we can get to map two pretty easy. That's good. 
Okay. This time... Let's see here. Thing is... Okay. Do I go... Actually, I think I'll go with the Alpha, and then Direwolf, because Direwolf you at least won't get pulled into my opening hand necessarily, and I can at least give that ability to somebody else. Actually, Alpha, I need you to survive more. Or four bones and only two health. You just it makes up for it with the ability, but you just need to survive longer. You really do. Oh, got the dire wolf anyway in my hand. So at least we could take care of one elk fawn. Let's see here. Question is... Oh no. Well, let's see here. Actually, we can win this. Cause Alpha Wolf makes our squirrel strong. That's right, you're gonna lose to a bunch of squirrels. <laughs> Actually, there is an achievement, um, for finishing them off with squirrel damage. Alright. Oh, Warren. I miss the unkillable bunnies. So great. Alright, Raven. Very least, we got flying to give to somebody. Another health? Come on, I need. Need offense here. Very least, just give me a cockroach. Apple. Okay. It's gonna get stuck. Take care of one of them. These elks are going to be harder to deal with because they don't have blocking. I need one more bone. Here we go. That's what I needed. Oh, that only does four. Not enough. Oh, but next turn I'll survive. There we go. Ooh, that alpha is very helpful. Ooh. Ooh, we 
stupid don't want any of those. Rat King, though. Rat King, I will take. Rat King on the rabbit. At the very least, then, I can get enough bones to play Alpha. So right here. Bonfire would be nice, but... I want, I want items. Okay, at least give... Maybe I could get lucky and get a cockroach in this next pull. Uh, probably... Probably played that wrong. not going to help me. I think if I don't take too much time I to play Alpha now. Now is when I can just take advantage. I forgot that boost up Frozen Possum as well. I don't have any more attackers so this is it. Roach. Ooh. None of these are good. None of these are good. I need this for the trapper. And bones. Do I? What do we got? So these yeah, these three aren't doing me any good. Now I think when he powers levels up he drops any sigils, so it doesn't actually do me any good. Good, and I'm thinking actually Cuckoo on Alpha, because that might keep Alpha alive longer, and that alone would be worth it. Trapper is a big pain to start this with. Yeah, we'll try this out. I need to do really. Better off getting the strange frog. Okay. Yeah, now I need that. Need the alpha wolf. Perfect. This 
will be interesting to see if I can even make it through this round. Especially since I don't have any pelts. Oh boy. Oh, they all cost blood, so I can't play any of them. So the question is... how this goes. Not well, I'm guessing. Alright, squirrel. Ooh. Do three to his one. Oh, yay, yeah, we won! Alpha Wolf for the win! Death touch would be nice. Let's see here. Ooh, magpie. Magpie would be nice, actually. And magpie on the ad bowl. I still would like to get an unkillable gag. I guess we'll have to see what we draw on the, the next node here. All right. The rabbit and the gag. Rabbit there. Dire wolf pup. Take care of him. Next turn. Oh, long elk. You know, at first glance, your cause is really creepy, but not so. You know, like the more times I see you, the less creeped out I get. And I'm okay with that. Oh. Oh, he drops a vertebrae when he moves. Neat. Too bad that means you're gonna die right now. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's alright, though. That didn't do me any good. Oh, no. Here's where everything falls apart. Alright. Alpha. And then... I get to fight you with my army of squirrels. Yeah, we're good. Or not. No, I just wanted to make it very close. See, I didn't want any extra teeth. That was why I did it. Not because I forgot to block. Garbage. All oh. garbage. That's such a growth.
Well, it doesn't matter, so I'm going to take the one that's not going to end up in my hand. Double strike to the dire wolf? To the long oak, I mean? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't actually sound like something very useful. Uh, Older would be useful. And bones would be useful. Oh, darn, miss the painter. Got a, another free blank jack before. Broken egg, good. See, that is why I'm glad I gave Alpha the cuckoo powers. Let's see, you can do that. Really? Nothing great. Oh, double fusion. That could be good or bad. So the coyotes block. They won't be around for too long. I probably shouldn't have wasted that here, but I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a rough one. Especially when that alpha hits the board. You there. Not only three bones. Ooh. Yes, this is what I want. The sparrow can fly. He killed my long elk. Oh, he must have already taken a hit already. Vertebrae is gonna do some damage though. Okay. So far. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, surrender. Now this is going to have to be some stretch because I don't have any duplicates so then I will get a duplicate and then I got to fuse on the next one. Whereas I would rather... Because yeah, if I could get... Ooh, cockroach? No. Right. Let me boost my man... Er... Really? Really? I'm surprised. Oh no, long elk only has two health? That seems low. We need to change that. There we go. Eh, it, I was gonna win either way. Either I get a really strong, a sturdy long neck, 
or I get rid of those settlers. Let's take a creature. Frustrating. I wanted a geck. At least the alpha is useful and usable. Fun. What they call this. Fun. I need you there. I need something useful. Coyote's not bad. Now I am short on. And I don't want to use up all of my creatures though, because I need somebody to. I need attackers to survive round two. This is gonna be tough. still have plenty of bones to start off the second round. Let's see. Alright. And coyote. Alright. Need to keep myself in the game here. Coyote, your thing. Oh, wait. Oh, good. I get a turn. Okay. Alpha and squirrel and squirrel. All right. It's again. Once again, it comes down to alpha. And squirrel. Uh, if only Alpha happened to also be a moose, then it would be coming down to moose and squirrel. And. Killed my Alpha. I. Only have squirrels left. Which means I lose. Lost. Yep. All right. Well, we gave that one a couple of tries. Maybe we'll try again some other time. But for now, we will end this attempt at a bloodless run uh, here. So thank you all for joining me. I will catch you later in another episode.